Welcome everyone to another video. This is going to be something different. I'm oh, well, I'm at least going to attempt to do something different. Not sure how this will work. Not sure if this will even get finished, to be honest. But I thought I'd try it. And this is a bit of an inspiration from after watching a video that Scully Wally did uh, this week about a challenge he did for 10 days in Stormwind. And that's all he was using to buy and sell. And he was obviously doing pets and bits and pieces and things that I don't normally do even. So it's beyond my kind of like idea. So I thought, well, that'd be interesting. I'll try something like that, maybe with different ideas. And just slowly see if I can build up something. Probably not over 10 days. I'll probably try it over. Not sure how long yet. See even if it works for me. Anyway, I will link his video to it because it will be good to see. And I thought, yep, I'll try this. So... I was going to film this, but I didn't because I was doing this pretty late. I decided I'll do this on the Oceanic server, the busiest one they've got. Peak hour kind of thing will be at the same time as what I'll be doing the video, like doing the sales and stuff. So it's probably the best one to try it on. I'll probably change a couple of things, as I said earlier, that I might add because I'm not as an expert in other areas that he was in. So I did a couple of things already. I started off on a level one and I thought, wow, that's crap. Because I wanted to go and introduce enchanting into this. So I went to the enchanter and he said, Sorry, buddy, come back when you're level 5. I said, yeah, thanks, buddy. I thought, oh, well, I got in the big bad world there and leveled my character for the first time in a few years. Done that, got to level 5, and then I said, oh, I'm already at level 5. I might as well get to level 10. And that way I can use my mount at the same time. So here we are, level 10, got my mount to make my life easier. Started off with 300 gold. I did buy a couple vendor, a um, couple of things of the auction house, like this one for um, 45 gold, I think it was, and it sells the vendor for 50 gold. These ones I got for 31 gold, 32 gold each, and they sell for 50 gold. And I thought, oh, well, they're nice and easy flips. That's 10 gold I've just made, or 19 gold on that one, and 19 gold on that one. I thought I'll try some disenchanting, I'll do some sales, and obviously I'm on my way to get my enchanting since now I can do it because I'm a big boy. See if I can actually use TSM to disenchant some of the stuff that's there and see how I go, really. All right, thanks, buddy. Thanks for making me do two hours of tr leveling. All right, I'll just learn everything because I can. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the travels. All right, so I've got my enchanting now. Okie dokie. All right, so I was trying to document this as much as I can. Attempt to, yeah, like I said, this has got nothing on this character. It's got 300 gold. See if I can make some gold. One thing I will do now is just quickly scroll for this. Obviously, some stuff's region wide, so that's not going to make any difference anyway. Where I am, we'll see how other things go. Just going to quickly scout through everything and see if there's anything exciting. Oh, this one's worth 0 0.02. Well, maybe I'm not ready for that yet. Not big enough boy for that. I just went quickly through, see what's around. Not much at the moment. Nothing's going to make me rich. Like I said, I only got 300 gold. These things cost not much. Well, this one does, so I've got to obviously make sure it sells. This one doesn't. All right, so that's done. Big spend on me. I'll try to do a vendor search all the time just to see if there's anything I can rack up from this. Okay, so I did the search. This is all it's all come up with. I'm not very good at remembering what everything is, so I'm going to have to, unfortunately. Oh, well, that one says 25 gold, and it's Vendoros for 32 gold. So I might as well have a go at that one. This one sells for 8 gold, so it's about 70 thing. Yeah, well, might as well buy it anyway. I'm already here. It's not big profits, but I thought, hey, we're on our way to make our millions, I suppose. Next thing I'll do is just a bit of a disenchanting scan, just to get the feel of it. Like I said, this is all new for me. All right, so did a bit of a scan. Like I said, this is all new for me. According to this, providing what it is, it's 26 silver 
It's going to give me all this lesser and greater, which are usually pretty good. That two gold, three gold. Let's go and buy them. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, okay. All right, so I'll just put this up on now. It's at 560 gold, so that's 40 gold worth if it sells. This is worth nothing. 187 gold, 2 gold, 12 gold, 24 gold, 10 gold. And there you go. And 200 gold for that. That's easily going to double my money. And don't worry about this long blade that's there. It's just there as a to fool everybody anyway no it's not it's just there thought i'll see if i can sell one on this server long time ago it's been for a while there but i haven't sold it yet all right so i've put this up it's a bit late now though it's you know from for my area so who knows nothing might even sell all right i'll just quickly run around see if there's anything else i can pick up and that will be it i'll just um let you guys know what it is in a minute I just play around, see where I go. Just thought I'll buy some crap. Well, crap as in, you know, just things and see if anything sells. You never know. Could be lucky. And if I am, that's a good start for me. You just never know. I mean, those, in theory, none of that should sell because, because basically this is everything you buy at Vendor. But as you know, people tend to be a bit more lazier than you think they need to be. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I mean... Whoever had that on for 36,000 gold, yeah, good luck with it. We'll have a crack at it and see if actually anything does sell. Like I said, in theory, none of that should sell, really. Oh, there you go. I actually sold some light parchments already. All right, so my big whopping. Look at that. I've got 29 auctions with 60,000 gold. Ah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'll take it back. <laughs> I thought to myself, wow, <laughs> I've really... Oh, yeah, good one. I just cancelled it out. All right, so according to this, I got 1,356 gold worth of stuff on the auction house. Sold my essences already. So that's pretty cool. Already got half my money back. I think if I could only spend 15 minutes a day on this, would be good. So I'll have a look to see if I can do this. It's something new. I just chucked all different kind of things. Just to see how it's going. It's got 1,400 dollars, 1,400 gold worth of stuff. Um, sold 191 gold worth of stuff already. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll keep you updated and see what the totals look like and stuff like that. And as we go. All right, thanks guys. All right, welcome everyone. So this is going to be, unfortunately, day two, day three. Due to some weird issues I had, I made sure I could voice everything, but unfortunately i didn't actually have it recording on the right screen so i've got no footage of anything so i'm a bit disappointed i'm missing it so i'll be starting at day four with video uh just to update everything i'm up to eight thousand gold that i got for the last two days before that and the things i was doing was doing the dark moon fair i was doing a bit of fishing there which was nice getting the fish and bought some pets from dark moon fair and also i decided to just sell the other fish basically and since they were going really well i thought i well, might as well keep on selling it so it's the only place i ventured out of stormwind i went to golf shire also to get some stuff but that's about it just running around and not killing anything or anything like that. Just buying things out of vendors and stuff like that and fishing at the Dark Moon Fair. So up to date, up to day three at the end. Um, like I said, 8,000k. And I'll start the next video, which is the one I'm um, on at the moment with day four.
All right, welcome everyone to day four. Just a quick wrap up of what's happening. Just a quick look at what we've got in sales 2.8 thousand gold. Most notable is the Dark Moon Fair stuff, but also a white traditional handbook that costs you know under five silver, whatever it is. Can't remember from Stormwind City, so that's nice little sale. This Royal. Dungui, that's again, it's like, you know, one silver or something, or some small amount of gold. Um, bit of enchanting stuff, obviously. And another stylish black shirt, that's from Stormwind again, that's, you know, a few cents kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, and a fishing pole, which costs one or two copper or something, whatever it is. And, yeah, it tends to sell one every day. So that was 2,800 gold. So it's slowly going back up. So there you go, 11,000 nearly gold. Happy days. It's kind of like moving up. Very happy with that. From nothing before, basically. So yeah. Anyway, so that's it for that kind of thing. And sale-wise, pending. There's, there you go. There's 1,000 gold already just with some disenchanting I actually did today and some other transmog bits and pieces that are basically in gold shire in here anyway so that's it for today thanks guys bye guys welcome to day five all right well i've done just one reset during the night and here we are next 24 hours i haven't really done too much work on this i managed to get another 65 sales of just random junk basically there's a white traditional Handbook I sold again. That's just item again. That's you know under five silver, whatever it is. It's bugger all anyway. Um, just another recipe from Vendor that I got that cost you know nothing. So I did some disenchanting. I went and got all the stuff that you could disenchant for profit using TSM and bought that. And that takes so long though to get it all off the auction house. And anyway, it really is not. <laughs> It's not worth the gold, worth the whole thing, but for the purposes of this, just stuffing around, I managed to do that. Apart from that, some fresh potatoes I sold. That's pretty good little gig. The 25 gold turns into 359. Just other stuff again. Food that just surprisingly sells for serious amount of money. Um boots and stuff that's just all gray and silver stuff like well white stuff whatever you want to call it you know it's just walking around and picking things up this arclite spanner 17 gold that you know cost nothing to get basically yeah anyway so i managed to get just over well, nearly four thousand gold so let me collect that so that's nice All right, and let's have a squeezy wheezy. All right, so there we are. Obviously, started with nothing. Up to 14,000 gold now. Must be it. Nearly 14,000 gold, so nice. Me stuffing around. Anyway, I mean, this is not going to be groundbreaking in any way. We're not going to get rich out of this. But it's just interesting. Um, all right. So that's it for that one. All right. We'll see what the next day brings. Thanks. All right. Welcome, everyone. This is day six now. So that's probably been my one of the best days so far. I managed to do 55 sales with just under 20K. That's pretty good considering I didn't... Some of it is from Dark Moon Fair, which is, you know, helped. And the rest is just from Stormwind itself and bits and pieces around Goldshire. But nothing really farmed. I haven't really bought anything off the auction house yet. And so on. I was just trying to build up some cash. All right. So I do have 12,000 gold at the moment in the bank. And notably, let's have a quick look. I did sell a fishing pole, which is one bronze. There you go. It gave me 33 gold, so I made 33 gold and 80 silver 
profit. So that's really nice from one bronze. Um, again, the shirt and the two stylish ones, they're again very minimal price in Stormwind, so they were nice little sales. A recipe again that's just hanging around at the fishing place up in Stormwind. So again, that's nice. Then obviously there's a bits and pieces from my um, Duckman Fair. Just, you know, when I look at it, there's just this enchanting stuff that I went and got off the thing that broke even, that didn't actually do anything for me. Sold some red dyes. That's just, you know, really, they're not worth it, but I just had them. Just to see how I went. This potatoes is pretty interesting. They cost, you know, 25 gold for 200. And it turns into roughly, you know, 300 and something gold return. Very unlucky because I've only been buying them normally in 200, so I'm I probably missed out on some sales on it. It's a very nice profit bringer, and again, it's not much effort because it's on your mount. Um, what else? So again, that's just stuff from the vendor. That's from the horse. You can just get that off your own mount. Baubles are, you know... That's just the disenchanting. That's just some stuff. I picked up some grog from the um, pubs along the way here. Inns, whatever you want to call them. Um, again, this ribbon wrapping paper is sold by a vendor. Um, again, it's just peanuts and turns into something. I mean, they're only small amounts, but, you know, it's pure profit virtually and it doesn't take much effort. So there's my document stuff again. So there's, you know... Probably, you know, 8,000 gold worth of Darkman Fair. So 12,000, probably everything else. Sold a, a Declan Falks here from a, it's one of the vendors that sells it. Again, it's, you know, in the silver amounts. So that's a nice profit of, you know, 1,100 gold. Easy. Um, Arclight Spanners, again, I can't remember if I've got them on me or if they're at the engineering vendor anyway. In the blacksmith thing up that way yeah there's your potatoes here like i said you know 25 gold for for them yeah it's actually been quite interesting as a bit of sales the best one for the day was this recipe which is this one here which is from dark moon fair cost you 10 fish which is basically 40 gold so 40 gold so you don't even have to fish them. You can fish them if you want, or you can just buy them. For 40 gold, it turned into 8,400 profit. Beautiful. Can't believe how nice it was. I did sell a pristine hide here. I think I actually lost money on that one because originally it was over 300 gold. Um, so that's it. So let me grab all that happiness. Don't forget we started off with 300 gold only. So there you go. We've got 32,000 gold already in six days yes it's not world breaking and there's obviously some sales already of 186 gold just there's more baubles there you go i've actually ran out so i've sold them all out so again they're in the you know silver it turns into gold it's always good like that and yeah that's all just bits of pieces of disenchanting that i just grabbed from using tsm from here just by pressing that, going to disenchant and just bought everything out. It's tedious in a way. It's slow, but, you know, it's free gold, really. Kind of, you know, it's a bit of effort and you can do it while you're doing something else, watching something even while it's happening. Yeah, anyway, so quite happy with day six. Like I said, you know, we started off with nothing. To basically, yeah, you know, here, 32,000. So it's nice. Um, again, this is the why I don't like TSM in a way because it pulls data from everything else for me. So, oh, there you go. Top item is my shiny bauble. But there you go. Sold 1,306 of them. Hips. Um, obviously, selling this fell so long, but it didn't help me because it was a $50,000 sale. 57, whatever it was. That didn't help me for the figures here. That's it, guys. So that's day six. We'll just see how we go. Um, obviously, this is like being a noob, not knowing what sells, what to do. I just went around every single place and just bought crap. Then I'm selling the crap. I have 
359 items posted for half a million gold uh, for 500 million gold for half yeah half a million it's just things that probably don't even are worth having some of them but you know i'll see how i go and then start filtering through now because obviously i've got a bit more cash behind me i'll be able to maybe do some flips and bits and pieces and see how i go as a noob you know see if i can lose it all in one go but anyway so that's it for today i'll catch you all again next time all right bye all right guys so i think this is day seven haven't really done much today didn't reset anything in the morning when i went to work i was late all right so that will show you that basically from yesterday without resetting anything on my 2.8 k gold which is still all right i suppose considering it's just garbage the biggest thing i sold is this that clan falcs which is again just a an item from a vendor which is you know very nice price the braces again you know they're all in bronzes for pricing alkaline spanners 76 gold that's pretty cool mining pick that's one silver i think or something like that and wooden stocks and cakes and dust and stuff that's from disenchanting stuff uh, copper rod which is again a silver or something at the vendor here in gold Shire yeah it's just weird then celebration cakes you know gloves pink dyes which obviously is not worth doing just i just had them because like i said i bought everything out it's just amazing the things that you sell but anyway so that's it that's 2.8 k it's happily going up at the moment it's up to 3000 uh, 38 k for just basically a week's work of doing nothing very happy with it i mean you're not going to get rich on that or anything else in the game but it's just fun doing it with this you know character on a server but anyway so that's it so that's seven day guys all right guys so this is day eight i think from memory i'm not sure how i went actually so let's have a look all right that's actually not too bad seven thousand gold that's better than the day before not going to complain suppose the outstanding item is this worn wood chopper which is again not a very big expense and it gave me 5.6 thousand gold that's pretty good actually uh, can't complain from something that's you know under one silver or a couple silver um yeah that's nice actually uh some wire i sold here so that's nice and there's some potatoes that i keep on still selling so that's good and then all my disenchanting stuff that i just keep on getting off the every time i log in i only reset this one today so not too shabby for my little efforts can't complain considering it really isn't much into it all so there you go so now i'm up to my forty-five thousand gold not too bad from you know last thursday or eight days now whatever it is so yeah i'm not gonna complain anyway so there you go guys that's my next day we'll see how we keep on going all right thanks all right everyone so this is going to be day nine it's not too shabby still 113 sales at the moment it's fifteen thousand gold in here most notable is I sold one of the Dark Moon pets for 10,000 gold or just over. So that's nice. Still selling some potatoes since it's um, an ingredient from here for 10 for 2 gold 50. I'm not going to complain too much for the sales. There's just obviously disenchanting stuff that I've been just getting off the auction house using TSM. What else is here that's nice? There's a couple flowers I sold. What else is here? More potatoes as you can see people want to buy potatoes more disenchanting stuff there's a good there's a squire's vest and embroidered hat from just a vendor that's again a couple silver nice little return arclight spanners just get them from vendors 
some more wrapping paper that's just around the corner from here you can get just from vendor hair trigger that's up from the mining area district more disenchanting stuff uh staff that's just again a vendor item it's a few silver and yeah that's another one item that's just vendor item so not too bad considering i haven't really done much with this so let me at least get the f at least 13 of them so we can just get the rest up okay 14,000 gold left again so just again my disenchanting stuff the wrapping paper yeah there's nothing really here that's too exciting except it's just yeah like this strong fishing pole you get it from just here and it's a few silver again and it turns into 175 gold and you tend to sell one every couple of days so that's nice um all right so let me just pick all that up nice all right 57,000 gold darunis so there you go 42 58 virtually just continuing to grow and again it's you know no effort in this well, well you know no effort it's probably an hour's work or something i put into it because i do a bit of disenchanting i'll pick up some bits and pieces and run around worst thing is is actually riding around a horse or on a mount where you can't fly that's annoying but anyway putting them to brakes catch again later on all right welcome everyone to day 10 i think it's day 10 hopefully anyway i think i'm right anyway so let's have a quick squeeze at what's happening um tsm is being a bit funky because i just don't get it sometimes when i look at my auctions nothing showing up anything and it says i've got nothing and no idea because if i go to my auctions there you are they're all there can't work it out and someone knows why that happens let me know because bugger if i know right now it's happened once before i mean it's got the totals and you know don't know anyway so besides that let's have a look so this is day 10 what do we got we've got 5.7k 74 sales I sold this some um, cloth that i had um what else there you go i've sold actually a gladius a cutlass and a falcon all white items from memory one's just actually in here in um one of the joints and another one's in goldshire so the only tripping i do at the moment is go to goldshire every so often to restock them from one of the vendors there in the blacksmithing area stylish blue black shirt sold so that's nice potatoes are still selling and yeah there you go there's potatoes here and potatoes there potatoes are everywhere and obviously a lot of it is my disenchanting so disenchanting would be good if i actually um started making stuff and doing that buying stuff but anyway i'm not doing that right now but something to think about for the future maybe um apart from that there's nothing really well you know it's just like you can see here the wooden walnut stocks which are from the engineering vendor just silly things you can get running around here so let's just grab all that and let's make it all happy i like how quickly actually things go on this server so let's have a look how are you traveling 58 i was on i'm now on 59 i did buy some um essences and stuff like that just trying to flip them see how i go still happily going up none of this is going to um make me win a battle or anything like that still happy though considering i really don't put much into this i got sixty thousand gold on doing practically nothing and it's actually good it's something different so i like it because it just gives you that bit of a you know think differently at it kind of thing so what i am going to do today is i think i've grown up a bit now my adventurous feelings are coming through and what i am going to do today is step into big bad world enjoy this quick riding on a horse that's i can't believe that this was fun it is so slow it's like you virtually want to just level your character to level 40 
whatever it is now 30 40 to fly because man oh this is like especially when you get to get from one end to the other of um storm wind it can be a real drag but what i am going to do is actually before i go there i'll just show you here this dude here sells crap now i just buy everything anyway because as you can see it's all bronze it all turns into 67 silver or nine silver for that one six silver but it doubles in price so it's nine gold you know you sell it and you can see i've sold 35 of them already so this one again sold 15 of i mean this one's actually only 18 silver this one's 19 silver and sells for 46 so it's still three times as expensive i sold 20 of them so 28 of them but that's actually they're at a loss now so i'm not putting them up yeah now i mean there you go i've sold three mining picks one silver and they sell for six gold i sold nine of them they got a nine silver and they sell for 50 gold you know there's just things i mean again this is this is in rich heights of you know you're going to retire on but if you want to do something different that's actually just you know stupidly just yeah different then it's probably worth having a look at but there you go but this is my next venture i've made a big step and i'm going to attempt to cross somehow can't remember yeah for getting run over um oh no i don't want to go there oh jeez i'm gonna get killed run over by the train um there you go it's just sort of watching paint dry isn't it oh look at him go all right so looks like i've got a flight path there so i'm gonna have to wait here for my train to come along get on the train i'm gonna go to iron forge make that big big step become a big boy and change cities just to walk around and see if there's anything i can grab from there that i haven't got yet would be interesting to see if there's anything there while i'm there i'll get a flight path because geez doing this crap is painful oh here he is it's coming whoa i can get off Ooh, oh look at him yay all right so there we are that's my next adventure I'll do a bit of an update on the next one just to see if um, anything exciting happens. If I can find anything else, I can swindle onto the auction house that's going to make me thousands of silver and I can just then see the money roll one day, make gold cap. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's not going to happen that easy. It's not the aim of it. The aim of it is just to piss fat around a bit and see what I can do just doing the basics i mean like even worse than the basics it's just like not making an effort really at all as much as possible not making an effort you obviously gotta have to do something otherwise it's a waste of time but you know even if i look at that fifty thousand gold in 10 days so you know in a month and a half of just doing that would buy me a token just buy and considering i only reset this once a day get some disenchanting stuff sell whatever's there to sell all right so there's my big bad world of iron forge it's scary as anything like just new place to explore for me i'll have a crack at it and see what there is that's worth um grabbing while i'm here oh there you go see there you go i mean that's for sil for silver two gold these are five gold for seven gold again it's just silly things like that oh there you go that's ten thousand gold right now well you know to sell it says 1000 is the region average so even if i sell for a thousand you know 11 into a thousand can't complain and obviously that one's no good to me but yeah anyway as you can see i'll just walk around see see what i can get around and make something out of it i know i'm rambling on but the oh see again it did show up for five seconds and it's gone missing i just don't get it so there you go, the 50 gold. 
there's none here so you know again um, okay let's make it 5,000 gold it's only cost me two silver to post you know so I'm not gonna complain all this stuff's just you know yes it's nothing but two seconds and let me see there you go got rid of that all right so I'll run around here see what happens and we'll take it from that all right, guys, I'll um, update you all later to tell you how exciting this has become for me. This new area to exploit the markets. I was going to say after hours. Doesn't make any sense. Idiot. There you go. I got my flight path now, too. So I don't have to freaking drive on that scary train anymore, just in case something can happen to me there. I could get robbed on the train, and then that's going to be sad. Anyway. I'll take all my 50, 57,000 gold. And then what I'm going to do, I'll be destitute on the, in Warcraft with nothing to show for. It'll be just a lonely dude walking around aimlessly, hiding in the corners in Ironforge because he won't be able to even afford to go back. All right, guys, so that's it. I'll keep you all updated later. Thanks. Bye.